Coming up, I'm going to be talking about Sal and Gabby, Break the Universe, and much more. But before we get into any of that, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest Disney Plus news. Hi everyone, it's Roger here from What's On at DisneyPlus.com. It's Tuesday, it's time to jump into some of the days big Disney Plus news. The main one today is we've got some new content on Disney Plus in a number of countries, including Australia, Canada, and the United Kingdom. We got a brand new episode of Only Murders in the Building. Now, important to note that Europe tends to get an episode a week behind Canada and Australia. You'll also find this episode on Hulu. Watched it this morning. Really enjoying the series. I think it's what easily one of the best things right now on um, Disney Plus and Hulu. Yeah, it's just such a great show. Great cast with um, Selena Gomez. We've also got Martin Short and Steve Martin in here. Very different to anything else we've got going on there. So we've got that new episode today, depending on where you are. And obviously, like I said, Europe is a, a week behind everybody else for some bizarre reason. But yeah, definitely want to check that one out if you are... I'm a fan of those guys. Just, just, it's very different, and I think that's definitely a key thing to watch with this one. Disney has released the first trailer for a brand new documentary, A Spark Story, which is going to be coming to Disney Plus this coming Friday on the 24th of September. Now, this one here is all about um, making 20 something and also a no no, which is two new Spark Shorts which recently got added onto Disney Plus. So, if you like Spark Shorts, you're going to want to sort of look into this one here. I'm looking forward to see how they get on with it and how it all comes together and what the process is like of putting together a spark shot. So that one there will be coming, as I said, at this coming Friday. Also today, the review embargo for the upcoming Star Wars Visions short series has come up. It's therefore there I can talk about the brand new series, which is going to be dropping onto Disney Plus tomorrow on Wednesday the 22nd. So this is a brand new collection of nine different shorts. Very different than anything we've really seen before. If you think What If is a little bit strange, Wait till you see this series of shorts. I mean, they vary between about 12 to 13 minutes, right up to about 20 minutes. So they're not far off a full animated um, episode. It's crazy. The animation can really vary between each episode. Very different. You know, some of them are a bit more um, sort of cartoony. Some of them are like um, the one with the Ronin character. It's just really just black and white with little bits of color. I'm um, very different. If you're after something uh, very familiar to what you've already seen in the Star Wars universe, this isn't it. They really kind of throw the rule book out and they've got a very generalized idea of what is Star Wars, which seems to be just lightsabers in space. Um, there is a couple of episodes which are a little bit more connected to the Star Wars that we know, which I think are more likely to be picked up by casual fans. Some of them are just crazy. Um, there really is a, just a very um, eclectic collection of shorts. And honestly, I really recommend everyone check some of them out. They've got some amazing stuff in there. But if you don't like the first one you watch, watch another one. If you don't like that, try another one. They're so different. It's literally like a buffet of different um, Japanese anime styles. Try them out. Um, you know, I would say don't watch them all at the same time because I would, they're probably be about two hours if you put them all back to back. Kind of spread them out a bit. I know for myself, I kind of had to spread them out a little bit. I mean, you can watch them subtitled with the um, a Japanese dub or you can watch it with an English dub. Personally I did it that way, it's a little bit easier to watch and with its animation it's not quite so um, important. They've got some amazing uh, sort of lightsaber battles in here, loads of stuff in here, just really check it out. If you want something original and fresh for um, Disney Plus, this is it. This is just so out there. It makes What If look very tame in terms of what they've done. I mean, that zombie episode with What If was very out there, but this stuff really is. And I really recommend that you check it out when it drops on Disney Plus tomorrow. And finally, we've got an update on a brand new series which is being developed for the Disney Channel and at Disney Plus called Sal and Gabby Break the Universe. Now, this is based on a very classic book. It's being developed by Eva Longaria's Unbelievable Entertainment. And the series, as I said, is based on the award-winning book Sal and Gabby Break the Universe, which has been written by Carlos Havanas and published by Disney. This book has won a lot of awards for its recognition of its portrayal of Latin cultural experiences. The project is also going to be put together by Nelson Sola, who is behind Ultraviolet and Black Scorpion, which is a brand new Disney Channel show about um, some wrestlers that are also superheroes, and he's also worked on Pretty Little Liars, The Professionalists. The series is being developed under the leadership of Io Davis, who is the Executive Vice President of Creative Development and Strategy at Disney Branded Television. And 
they went on to say, it's exciting to work with Eva and Ben on such an imaginative story full of heart and adventure that feels authentic in its storytelling and its representation of characters. Floss's heartwarming and humorous book is a perfect addition to our slate of development as in an expert hands with Eva and Ben's production team. The story evolves around teenage Sal who discovers that he has the ability to reach into time and space to retrieve things from other universes after meddling with his father's scientific experiments. He quickly enlists his friend Gabby to set off on a quest to find and bring back his deceased mother, only to learn that tampering in alternate universes could ultimately put their entire universe at risk. No release date has yet been announced for when this one will be arriving on the Disney Channel or Disney Plus, still very much in the early stages of development so it might be a while off. Very interesting as well that this um, press release specifically stated Disney Plus, as um, which is something that we're seeing more and more with some of the um, press releases from the Disney Channel. Sometimes they kind of like to forget that it doesn't exist, but they're very much now focusing on the thing now that all of their content is being channeled straightly through onto Disney Plus. And I think that's just, just generally the right thing for them to do. So it's just nice to see them kind of now kind of saying that now very much more openly in their press releases that these shows are going to be on Disney Plus, which makes a lot of sense really. But yeah, so this one's going to be a little bit different, but let me know if you're excited about this new series in the comments below. I'm going to go check us out over at what's on at DisneyPlus.com. Like, follow and subscribe to keep up with all the latest news. And as I said, you can join us on social media, Twitter and Facebook, etc. to keep up with everything there. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for joining me. See you guys soon. Bye, guys. I'd like to thank all of our Patreon and YouTube channel members for their support. You can become a member from as little as $2 a month and you get access to our weekly Q&A and much more.